YouTube. Um, you may know me by now, but I'm just so excited today. One, I'm doing a Lego review, and two, it's my first video in a long, long time. But um, anyway, you may not notice that you can't see me because uh, I'm not using a GoPro though. Using my VR goggles, but anyway, this is gonna be a Lego review of the um. Sorry, it's hard to see in these things. Um, airport pa Lego City Airport Passenger Terminal, which is the twenty-seven uh, twenty set of airport set of twenty-seven sixteen. And uh, anyway, let's get right into it. What? It's hard to see. Voila! There it is. Anyway, so um, we're going to be going over. The smaller things, and then we're going to get bigger, then bigger, then bigger. So, uh, anyway, let's start off with the minifigs. The minifigs are, there are six minifigs included in this set. And so, you've got a pilot, two crew, well, work crew members, a flight attendant, and two passengers, a man and a woman. And uh, there's, it comes with three suitcases, so you, I chose to put the black one with the pilot, the gray one with the female passenger, and the blonde, brown one with the male passenger. Alright, that goes for the minifigs. Let's go over the uh, tow tractor. Tractor, where is it? The tow tractor is not used for the plane. It's not used to tow the plane to the runway. Plane can do that its own. Deal with it. But uh, anyway, so basically, this thing carries all the things that you need to for the plane. It carries the uh, soup, the luggage holder, and it carries the fuel tank, and it also carries the stairs for the plane. So um, let's go over each individual one. So this this is a uh, pretty standard for Lego airport sets. It can only hold one person. It's got two work lights for the other person so it can go like lift them um, just like direct the plane. And there's this nice big follow me sign on the back. That's that one. This is a simple luggage holder cart. And so basically it just you put the luggage in there and uh yeah, that's it. Uh, let's see. let's go over this one. The fuel tank is standard for a lot of things. It's got the uh, stripes right here, so you know it's octan. Uh, it's got a little lever right here for the fuel. Psh, oh no, it's going everywhere. And this is the fuel pump with a little rope, which is meant to be cord. Put that back on. Take this one, put it there. Final one, we got the stairs. Um, pretty self-explanatory, just two sets of wheels this time. And stairs, do, 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 into the plane. Just leave that there. Now let's go over the airport. Which gives the set the name, yet the plane is kind of the main thing. The airport terminal is, the airport passenger terminal itself is pretty nice looking, but when you get to the back it's kind of confusing. I'll talk about that later on. So you've got a spinning door with a knob, like, unlike most other sets. Just turn that there. I mean, that thing has pros and cons. The pros are, it works very well. It's very nice action. The cons are, it's hard to fit a minifig in there. And it resembles a swastika at the bottom of it. I'm not too happy about that. So, uh, there's that. Control tower sits on the top of the airport this time. So, it's just got... Recursant coffee mug, which is kind of city's thing, Lego city's thing. 
little radar so you see all the planes and a swirly chair. And uh, so this is a rot rotary thing. Not quite sure what it's used for, but it's a rotary thing. So uh, don't want to question it. And there's a trash can right there. And so let's get to the back of this thing. When you get to the back of this thing, it's really just really, really confusing. You've got your, your security thing right there. When like it should be somewhere over here somewhere. It just you kind of have to use your imagination to work with this. But um, you've got your thing here to see if anyone's carrying any weapons or anything. A bus stop thing. I'm not sure if I put that right in the right spot. I'm not pretty sure it's supposed to go over there. And then you've got a seat for a worker. And then you've got a little conveyor belt, which heads up to a real conveyor belt. Turn the big red knob, and you work this thing, which design has been in the Lego cycle for quite a while now. And uh, some seats there for waiting passengers. And uh, that's really it, besides this thingy, so you don't fall off the edge of the world. Okay, we're going to pick this up if we can. Put just behind them. And now here comes the fart part. I mean, the fun part. I said fart part, what the? The plane. The plane is quite cool. I like it. Um, it's not really too big, unlike other airport sets. Where this one is smaller because it's a rear engine plane. Normally, rear engine planes are small. And so, basically, I mean, it's pretty self explanatory if you got a Lego plane set before. Building style has been around in a Lego cycle for quite a while. You've got all these. Big pieces which explain the prices. This thing, re the thing is uh, my, where I live at Toys R Us. This thing goes for hundred ten dollars when it should be sold for like, uh, like a hundred. Retail price is about like a hundred dollars. And so you can take all the pieces, the roof pieces off. You got two standard, one door one, and the front the nose. And then you've got them, them on the bottom. The really cool part about this plane is it just really looks nice and everything. Um, so you've got six seats here, but that's because I modified this slightly. Normally you'd have a seat here, 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 and here. But not a seat here. I added that myself because I didn't like that it was uneven like that. Me and my OCD. And back here is an extremely compact bathroom. We've got a toilet seat that's almost completely on the ground and a small sink which kind of looks a bit confusing. Over close to the front we've got a sink here for the flight attendant to like wash his hands and sit there. Then you've got a little fridge which has just one single soda bottle. Can't really see it. And then you've got two seats for a pilot and a co-pilot but unfortunately it does not come with a proper co-pilot. But switch some heads and some torsos around and bam, you could probably make the flight attendant a co-pilot. Or you could just use him as a co-pilot. You've got, this is a prince, this is a prince. You've probably seen these two before if you have Legos at home. And this is a sticker. It's got some buttons here, big buttons here, three dials, pretty sure here. And then throttle, throttle control there. But um, let's put these back on. really hard to see through this thing because it's like a bit distorted. It is a good thing though, using VR goggles, putting, using your phone as a camera, using your VR goggles to hold the camera. Makes a good GoPro. And now outside features. The plane itself is really cool. It's got these vortex controller thingies. I like to put them all the way up because that's how you'd see them on planes, but they'd normally be more up and less out. This wing set is all one piece, so it's like a big overhang here, and then there's two humps in there, where it's also part of the wing, and then this. This and this are not part of it, and so 
just put some stickers on it for this set. Landing gear is standard. I mean, you've got your... I put that light there myself as well. Not a good idea. It makes it get stuck if it goes backwards. You have good steerable nose control. And then the rear one, see if I can get to it, is pretty standard. And it looks pretty chunky for rear landing gear. Normally you just have the two wheels, but that would be probably too delicate for a plane of this size. And so you're not really going to see that, and you can easily take it off if you want to hang it from a roof or something. And then you've got the engines. They have the flight number on it, JM-60104, which is the number on the box. And these engines are not like standard LEGO engines that are just one piece. They're actually a pretty good build. I'm, and also, speaking of build, they're also... This thing made does have some pretty good build, even though it does have some quite large molds, which also make it the $100 it's worth for. Got it for a bit of a discount if you want to get it on Amazon or something. And so uh, I'm just showing you around because it's kind of self-explanatory, everything. The door right here is workable. does work. And uh, this is a sticker they put on it, and this is a sticker as well. This is a sticker... Just to keep the uh, orange and gray stripe theme going. And I'm not quite sure what this is. I don't think I remember this when it got like the 2013 airport. Which had like the big red and white plane. Don't think I remember that. But um, anyway, that is my review for the Lego passenger terminal. And uh... So I hope you guys liked it, and it'd be really cool if you guys got the set, because it is quite a fun set to play with. And this is B-Noons, signing off.